Hello and welcome, it's Chilli Cube here in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a test pour basically on this little 20 by 25 inch canvas using the house paint as my base because I'm going to do one of the Shelley blooms. So it's um, not my normal, as you know, if you followed me for these many years that I don't use house paint in my artistry, but for this particular full technique of the Shelley Art Bloom, I'm absolutely using all the products that is advised in the Shelley Art course. And I'm using pigments. Now these pigments I've had mixed for a number of weeks and I've been trying to whittle them down in different pieces of art that I've done, but they just seem to go on and on. They really do last and they are so vibrant. I really am getting the bug, I think, but I have got lots of practice to do with this um, creating art on top of house house paint so the pigments are all pre-mixed and I'm just going to layer them and experiment with this particular one um, at blowing the colors out but not with my mouth I just cannot do that blow technique with my mouth I have to either use a straw or my hair dryer so these colours, I am so sad to tell you, I don't know what they are. I mixed up a whole heap of different colours. And then when I come to look back at the pigments, I thought, which ones are these? They, the actual pigments don't actually look like the colours that they end up sort of mixing to. So um, that one I know is a cinnamony colour uh, by Colour Art. I do know that because I... I had a look at the other day trying to work out it's such a vibrant red they're all beautiful colors so I'm basically just working through these colors and see what I get it is so relaxing and rewarding and I'll just let you have a look at um, how I'm layering the colors and then the blowout and let's see what we get That's sure something I could use A cure for the air conditioning Wow, that was a total surprise. And look how, oh my goodness. I mean, it's not like a traditional all um, celled up, but it's, it's so interesting. There is certainly a lot to see in this one. I've got a little creature there. And if you turn it around, it's like legs 11. It's like two pairs of legs with a wings on it or something. It's really... Um, a gorgeous little piece 
so nice even the bits that have run off onto my spinner so i think that is a winner winner spinner spinner there you go i'm going to give it a buzz again and see uh, if i can make sure all the edges are covered but um this one will look fantastic resined so i hope i well i will show you the resin piece at the end um there's so much to see in this little one and the colors are absolutely dazzling i can see a skull there and face of something it's a real weird one this so much to see in it i'll try and bring it up closer and give you a look yeah just whizzing over with the heat gun and bursting any air bubbles so let's have a look at it well there you go when you're just experimenting and i had my camera running with uh, leftover pigments that i have and this little bit of leftover paint um, and you get something like this I mean that isn't all kind of uniform little cells it is spread out cells but boy it's the colors are gorgeous and like the colors that's run off the edge of the canvas onto my spinnery thing are just beautiful that is look at this side oh look at that that's gorgeous i don't want to take it off the spinner that's gorgeous on that side too with the runoff i should actually move it and then maybe see if i can scrape the runoff onto something that looks like a lady's legs body running there and maybe the wings behind oh you can see so much in that now i'm looking at it through the camera a purplish like ladies legs and a costume and then as it goes up you can sort of the wings behind her maybe that can be bought into something like that she looks like she's got the head part of her in the cells i have to think about that and see how it dries but i'm <laughs> super duper happy with that i've had a um, blooming day today i've done several done that one over there which really happy i did that one yesterday in the different tones i've got another one up there drying and this is all trying to use the pigments that i've had mixed they are expensive pigments and all the paints that you mix them with the ingredients but boy they they go a very very long way i had no idea so i hope you loved that one i loved creating it and I will continue and try and use up the rest of my pigments, which they're actually fine um, because they've been done over a month as long as you put airtight lid on them. So thank you so much for joining me. Until tomorrow. Oh, a little creature showed itself up. Little caterpillar. A caterpillar. Caterpillar. Another piece. Dried and resined, sparkling, beautiful sides of the canvas look lovely too.